The overworld is full of unique biomes, each with their own individual meta, with contenders constantly vying for the top spot. Today, we'll look at one of the most well-known biomes, the African watering hole. Just about every African player must traverse or interact with this biome, even if their preferred server is the savanna or even the desert, making this a hot zone for PvP. And while there are some strong contenders from high-level builds like lions, elephants, and monkeys, today we'll compare the two aquatic frontrunners, the crocodile and the hippopotamus, to determine which is truly top tier. One thing that immediately jumps out at anyone who runs into these builds is their extremely high vitality. Both builds maximize the damage they can take in different, extremely effective ways. The hippo simply has extremely high base stats for hit points. Thick skin and high body fat allow the hippo to simply shrug off most hits. On the opposite side of the spectrum, we have the crocodile, with only a moderate amount of base hit points. However, the crocodile's thick, scaly hide offers even more protection than the hippo's blubber. As an added bonus, crocodiles opted to spec for high HP regeneration. As long as a crocodile survives a fight and can still bite and swim, it will invariably recover. Let's move on to their offensive stats. The crocodile build invests a huge amount of EP into the bite attack. This might seem foolish since typically most builds opt to have at least a few other attack moves at their disposal. However, in this case, it appears the overinvestment into Bite pushed its DPS so far beyond what the armor of a normal build can defend against. The lack of other options in the neutral doesn't matter. The utility of the Bite move doesn't end there, however, because it does so much damage it also has high hit stun, allowing it to true combo into one of the most powerful attacks found in the entirety of the Animal Kingdom, the Death Roll. Unparalleled in DPS, this simple combo can end up one hit killing all but the tankiest of builds. Shifting over to the Hippo, we do have to keep in mind that this is a tank build, not a DPS build. This means that its abilities lie much more in area denial than scoring kills, and you'd be hard pressed to find a build more successful at area denial than the Hippopotamus. The Hippo's primary offensive move is Charge, which doesn't even need to connect in order to accomplish its goal, since simply casting the ability reduces its target's resolve astronomically. This effect is strong enough to send even top tiers running for the hills and conceding the match without even taking a hit. However, let's not pretend that the Hippo Charge is only for show. When this move connects, it is absolutely catastrophic. Its damage is rivaled only by the rhinoceros and elephant, but hippos can use charge just as effectively in the water. Both the crocodile and hippo are hard countered by the elephant due to its sheer size, and generally just try to avoid the matchup. It's no surprise that the most powerful kill combo in the world is held by one of the oldest builds in the meta. There are hardly any builds from the time of the first crocs that are still relevant in the meta today. But the croc has seen no trouble being relevant in the meta across several expansions. The hippo is much newer on the block, which means it could be that the meta hasn't adapted and will eventually bounce back to counter the hippo. Or it could mean that the hippo hasn't even been fully optimized and could have an even higher rating once its player base gets closer to the skill ceiling. I'm not going to definitively say which one ranks higher on the tier list since the meta is still evolving. Both are obviously top tier in the watering hole biome. I would say that the croc is higher in the water while the hippo can hold its own against bigger challengers on land. Thank you for watching, and if you have a build that you'd like me to analyze, leave it in the comments.